Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. It's time to check out Samsung's 14.6 inch tablet. That is the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. Samsung has brought a lot of improvements to the Galaxy Tab S9 lineup, including a Super AMOLED display on all of them. You get an S Pen, you have IP68 dust and water resistance with the tablets. There's also a lot more. So in this video, we're gonna quickly show what comes in the box, then of course, set it up, get some hands on the new Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. Let's get started. And here it is, potentially the best tablet you can get right now, the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. And I love that Samsung kept a dynamic AMOLED display on that Tab S9, Tab S9 Plus, and the Tab S9 Ultra, so it's consistent across the board. I do wanna point out, Samsung has some really good trade-in deals right now if you pre-order the tabs. I will link to that down below if you're interested, plus storage upgrades if you pre-order. So there's a lot of incentives if you're in the market for a tablet. Let's begin with the Tab S9 Ultra. The box is crazy thin because this tablet is very thin as well. We're gonna set that to the side for just a second. Inside the box, quick start guide standard and our USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, which is longer than the cable you would get in a phone box. And finally, you get your S Pen in the box. Close up of the S Pen, it has a flat side which will magnetically attach to your tab. Love that this is included and it has an IP68 rating dust and water resistance. Actually, funny enough, I got a demo. I am here in Seoul at Unpacked and you can actually write underwater on the tab with this. And of course, the tab also has that IP68. Not that you would, but it's really good to know that it really does have that water and dust resistance. Anyways, let's check out this 14.6 inch tablet with the silver back to it. By the way, quick side note, this is officially the beige color of the tab. So first impression wise, I have to say, man, does Samsung know how to make a premium good looking tablet? This tablet is gorgeous and I just can't get over how thin it is. Also, as mentioned, grabbing our S Pen, there you go. Snaps right on magnetically, fairly strong magnet. Also, I know this was probably obvious, but the screen does not rock at all when it's flat, no matter what corner I press on, which is great. So with such a large screen, if you wanna do some drawing, some writing, you can have it flat on a desk or table. Anyways, I'm going to boot this tablet up for the first time. And while it boots up, let's take a closer look at this gorgeous hardware. Also, I know you're wondering, but it can sit up on its own vertically. Don't do this. <laughs> so along the left side, we've got a speaker here, microphone, another speaker. These are tuned by AKG. Down at the bottom are the attachments for the keyboard case. So yes, you can get a keyboard attachment. Unfortunately, I don't have it here, but I did get a chance to try it out and it is stronger. It did get updates, which was good to see. It felt really good. Um, so hopefully I can get my hands on one. Along the right side here, another speaker, USB type C port and another speaker. Up at the top is a micro SD card slot so you can expand the storage, makes it easier to transfer files. And you have two microphones up here. And this is where your volume rockers and power button are. Make note, there is just a slight bump where the camera is. Close up of the back, Samsung logo. This is where the pen attachment will go down here. It does say sound by AKG. And we've got our dual camera system. So you have a 12 megapixel wide angle lens and an eight megapixel ultra wide angle lens. Anyways, I'm gonna run through the startup process, talk about anything that's noteworthy. You do have face recognition, fingerprints, and more. Let's set up our fingerprint scanner. The Tab S9 has an in-display fingerprint scanner and look where it is, right next to my thumb, which makes sense. I'm just going to keep pressing down. It says it's going to move just a little bit, so it gotta be just a little bit more accurate with this in-display fingerprint scanner. Continuing on. I will say it does have the Snapdragon uh, 8 Gen 2 chipset, which I am really loving this year. It's been exceptional, so I'm happy that they included it. The same chipset that they have in their flagship phones. Continuing on, this is taking a while, but I'm okay with that as long as it works how it should. There we go, you can add more if you'd like to. 
We are all set up and ready to go. A look at the gorgeous 14.6 inch dynamic AMOLED display at 2960 by 1848 resolution. This looks really good. The colors really do pop. And I know I already said it, it's just crazy how thin and light this 14.6 inch display is with such a powerful tablet behind it. What do I mean by dynamic AMOLED? First of all, I really like how you can go left or right hand side with the notifications. It'll pull from wherever you pull it down from. Uh, just a nice little feature. Anyways, going into settings, display the, where is it? Motion smoothness right there. So it will go between 60 Hertz and 120 hertz, depending on the type of content that will sh show. You can bump it down to 60 hertz if you'd like to help save battery life, but definitely check out Adaptive because it makes everything look so smooth. I'd also like to point out this smaller notch up at the top is a dual camera setup with a 12 megapixel wide angle lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. Very quickly, let's lock the tablet and test out that in-display fingerprint scanner. So just setting our thumb down, unlocked right away. I'm gonna set my thumb down on where I think it is. Yes, there we go. Uh, so you don't have to actually turn the screen on. If you just set your thumb down, it will auto detect that your thumb's on it and unlock your tablet. Grabbing the S Pen from the back, it will detect automatically when it is detached says hello. You do have a lot of shortcuts. Samsung has done an incredible job with their S Pen over the years, adding features and making it unique and very, very productive, especially with their notes app, smart select screen, right? Live messages is a lot of fun. So if we go ahead and hit create note, you can clip web pages, notes, you can drag and drop images when you use multiple apps at once. There's a lot you can do. So if I say hi, underline, underline. Now, what I wanna do, what I normally don't do, is multitask while I'm walking through this demonstration. So if we tap up at the top here, oops, that's not what I meant to do, up at the top there, you can minimize the application, you can expand it full screen, but for now, we're gonna minimize it. It's going to go into that bubble, and I'm gonna snap a quick picture. Again, you have the wide angle lens, you can go to 0.5 to get to the ultra wide angle lens. You can see my beautiful hotel room. Uh, carpet and a 2x zoom, which is digital. You can go all the way up to 8x if you'd like to. Now, if I flip that to the front, just doing that real quickly. There I am. Hello, hello, hello. And uh, again, ultra wide angle lens is included. Look at how much more that shows. I really love that they have an ultra wide on the front facing camera that's going to come in handy. But now, here's what I wanted to show off. Here's what we're going to do. So here's the gallery. Let's find a nice picture of me. Nope. Nope, none of these are nice. It doesn't matter. So, so if I press and hold, it will pull me out of that image and I'm gonna drag it into the notes application and there we go, look who it is. Just dragged on into the application. You can move around, edit it. Again, you can resize this notes app if I want it a little bit smaller so I can see that. Um, there is a way you can you know, click and drag, not just, you can obviously put the entire image on over but just wanted to do a quick demo of that. Down at the bottom, you have a lot of shortcuts, all of your favorites. You can also press this icon, which will bring up all of the applications, your full application list. And again, you can just go ahead and press and hold on apps, go to your different uh, shortcuts, multi-window. There we got three apps open at once. Hey, what if I wanna open up Chrome too? There's four applications open at once. There's a lot of multitasking. Samsung has done a great job with their software making it work well with larger displays. All right, let's go back home. And I wanna talk about ecosystem in general because you can copy paste, send text, take calls on your tablet when you sync it up uh, with your other Galaxy devices. You can drag and drop app, uh, photos, pictures, files. Um, they also have decks on here linked to Windows. Samsung has gotten better and better with their ecosystem over the years. It will connect to, you know, your watches, your earbuds very easily. Second screen is an option. You can use the tablet as additional display for your Galaxy Book. So if you have a laptop and you set this up, this can be another display, which is, a, in my opinion, an excellent second display. Diving a little further into settings, going down and going to advanced features is where you're going to find your S Pen settings with air actions. So you can do things like go home, go back, screen right. You can snap pictures with your pen. So if you have it set up, you can go ahead and hit the shutter button. Air view, 
Air Command, when the S Pen is removed, do nothing. You have a couple multi-window options like swipe for split screen with two fingers, swipe for pop-up view, swiping from the corner. So let's try that out. So if I go back to Chrome, use two finger gesture, swipe over, there we go. I can now open up another app and have two open at once. If you connect the S Pen back to the back of the tablet, it'll let you know the battery percentage so the tablet will charge that S Pen. Samsung's also added Vision Booster to the Tab S9 lineup, which is great. It will adjust the brightness and contrast automatically to make everything's look, everything look better in different lighting scenarios. Just a quick look at a YouTube video and I want to show off, obviously with it being AMOLED, it has those true blacks, contrast, the colors really do pop. Samsung has always been one of the best at those displays. And again, on top of that, you have a 120 hertz refresh rate. And don't forget, you also get the, hey, look who that is, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you don't get, you also get the quad speaker system. So I really wanted to show that off. You can zoom to fill in case you wanna take advantage of the entire screen. Anyways, that is it for now from me on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. There we go. You know what to do. Click that subscribe button. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.